Wagner leader Prigozhin breaks his silence, issuing first audio statement since mutiny. Here's a summary of the article. Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of Russian mercenary Wagner Group has broken his silence, releasing an 11-minute audio message, where he claims that he initiated Saturday's March of Justice to Moscow as a protest and not to overthrow the country's government. Wagner head Yevgeny Prigozhin on Monday released the first audio statement since an aborted armed rebellion he staged on Saturday, defending the move as a reaction to an attack on his force that killed some of his 30 fighters. We started our march because of an injustice, Prigozhin said in an 11-minute audio. Wagner troops have played a crucial role in the Ukraine war, capturing the eastern city of Bakhmut, an area where the bloodiest and longest battles have taken place. Prigozhin has increasingly criticized the military brass, accusing it of incompetence and of starving his troops of munitions. The feud that has festered throughout the war erupted into a mutiny that saw the mercenaries leave Ukraine to seize a military headquarters in a southern Russian city and roll seemingly unopposed for hundreds of miles toward Moscow, before turning around after less than 24 hours on Saturday. The Kremlin said it had made a deal that Prigozhin will move to Belarus and receive an amnesty, along with his soldiers. This post received a score of 8,700, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Prigozhin can say whatever he wants. The reality is that as long as he and Putin are both still alive, this ain't over. We are seeing in real time what it would have been like if Caesar had crossed the Rubicon and got cold feet and was then trying to be all like, guys, this was just a march of peace across the Rubicon with my army. To be fair, Julius Caesar and Pompey negotiated after that. They just couldn't reach a deal and I suspect both wanted the fight. Not really. There were heated negotiations before Caesar crossed the Rubicon which seemed to be productive until Cato torpedoed the tentative deal. Once the Rubicon was crossed it was total war until the end, although Caesar did try to bring everyone who survived back into the fold before they ganged up and murdered him. I'm watching the HBO, BBC series Rome for the first time right now and while it's obviously dramatized, it seems to get the major points right and it has really helped me understand the politics of that time better than my history classes ever did. The clannish nature of old money, specifically. Great series. Caesar didn't really have a choice but to rebel and take Rome. The way Cato put a monkey wrench into things he'd have had to give up the majority of his power and leave his himself to the legal mercy, certain execution, of a senate that hated the shit out of him. It reminds me of the Qin dynasty generals who were late when moving their forces due to inclement weather and since the penalty for such lateness would be death they said fuck it and staged an uprising lol. Inclement is such a nice word. They should formalize it. English does change and adapt over time. No thanks. Before long, the bastardization that is, yay, instead of, yeah, or, should of, instead of, should have, will be formalized. Edit. AI-generated transcript of Prigozhin's latest statement, just released. Greater than a protest. Sorry for the aircraft we blew up and people we killed. Whoopsie. He didn't offer any details as to where he was or what his future plans are. Prigozhin has increasingly criticized the military brass, accusing it of incompetence and of starving his troops of munitions. The feud that has festered throughout the war erupted into a mutiny that saw the mercenaries leave Ukraine to seize a military headquarters in a southern Russian city and roll seemingly unopposed for hundreds of miles toward Moscow, before turning around after less than 24 hours on Saturday. There was no confirmation of his whereabouts Monday, although a popular Russian news channel on Telegram reported he was seen at a hotel in the Belarusian capital, Minsk. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.